All right, so uh, we have Leo Sun, Leo Moon, and as well a Leo Rising weekly love and relationship tarot reading, guys, February 10th to February 16th, uh, 2020. And in case any of you is interested in a uh, personal reading with me, you can check out uh, the description down below. And uh, there you're going to find a link to my website as well as link to your other video of the week, which focuses on a business and career. So the first one in regards to love and relationship it is that we do have the world card and that will stand as the topic of your uh, relationship life, uh, followed by the eight of cups, which represents the energies feeding up the topic here or supporting the topic itself. That is to be the eight of cups. Next one, it is the challenges that you will have to face and overcome here. That is to be the challenge of the chariot card. Followed by the next one, which represents the gifts and the blessings that you are to enjoy throughout the week in terms of love and, uh, and relationship, excuse me, that is to be the Ace of Wands. Afterwards, it is how, uh, what kind of an impression you're going to leave into the people around you, meaning your suitor, your person of interest, uh, or your beloved one, that is to be the Knight of Wands. And next one. Um, and the last one here, it will be in term of a guidance, what kind of a guidance the tarot has for you in term of love and relationship. So this week it is strongly directed to those who are alone, who are a single, okay? Also, I'm going to interpret the cards in term of if you are into relationship, but the, but the biggest strength of this reading is for those who are a, a single, so uh, what those two cards here point and especially the energies, it is a, a revival of the, um, how can I say, revival of the sense that one needs to find love around. And that is why it has that strong imprint into those who are single. Of course, if you are into relationship, that is, and you are feeling a bit cold towards your partner, or you are feeling that your partner is a bit cold towards you, this um, card here, which represents the energy supporting of the situation, it kind of points that those energies are going to focus or orientate you and the individual you are with in case you are in a relationship more toward the future unfoldment rather than digging up into the past. Okay. And therefore is going to make in misfortune situations that you had to endure among each other. I a bit in irrelevance. And also uh, it's like, uh, you know, maybe you are going through unsatisfiable kind of like stage right now but the best is yet to come so it's kind of like it it will uh, make you look forward to more emotional contemplate um, fulfillment excuse me further into the future with the person you are with instead of you know what you are lacking at that particular stage but those which are single with those two cards we are having here a um, that kind of um, uh, amplifying sense that it is now time to step back into the world okay and just show yourself that you still have a lot to accomplish and a lot to give in terms of a love and relationship and this is why we do have the world card into the topic and the theme of the week because the world in your case it does not mean a uh, kind of ending because many people interpret this card as an ending it means a peak of experience it's like the the the, the finish line of a certain stage meaning you're single right well that is the finish line of you taking yourself as single and from there stepping into the world and representing yourself as someone who has still a lot of love to give and that imminently is going to attract people around uh, as suitors and as a, a person of interest but that comes into the gifts and the blessings and we're gonna go there in a minute now additionally to that um, with those two cards it's very important to say that you should not judge um, your new potential partners into relationship or judge the future situations into a current existing relationship based on past experiences okay you have to experience the newness as a new thing a completely separated and detached from the bitter taste you had 
from the past and that is the only way how you are to embark a better perspectives in terms of love and relationship into your life so we are going into the next one here which is the challenges that you will have to face throughout the week and that mainly speaks for those who are single and the challenge of the um chariot card is premature involvement okay so that is the challenge that you need to resist a premature involvement into a deep commitment okay so don't but i don't know how to say it you know you, you go on a date one night uh, only for one evening and you are uh, all open to your ears in love you just don't do that okay research your next tutor see how they behave in a certain crucial situations that you will want them to stay firm and so on and so forth but um the chariot card does involve um wish fulfillment okay and therefore it leads to a little bit of big expectations that you may have for the future yet that is these expectations to be built on top of your bitter taste from the past that's why it's important to leave the past where it belongs in the past i mean that's uh, emotional discontent that probably you have felt into a certain aspects of your current relationship or your current relationship life that is regardless of if you're single or not now the chariot card as well does involve um signature imprint into a future love endeavors either into current relationship or into current interactions meaning that you may have a um, a bit of a, a rough time especially if you are single to stand behind your personality because let's face it people who are single for a long time they start thinking that the problem is within themselves and therefore they are making bigger compromises with themselves right and with their standards and this is something that you should not do throughout at least throughout this week this is at the, the very least it is how you're going to separate those who can offer you something as a future relationship from those who would just want to get into your pants all right so next one that we do have it is going to be in term of a the gifts and the blessings that you can enjoy throughout the week and that is the ace of wands and as with uh, love such uh, as with career such as with relationship the ace of wands always stands on its own uh, in this position as a gaining for enterprise so that is something that you're going to have either in a current relationship gaining for enterprise with your partner or if you are single what could have that be all right if not a a new um interaction like a uh, it's not a commitment all right not yet at least it is just probably you're going to get introduced with someone that you instantly are going to have that uh, spark in between you two now what you're going to make with that spark now that depends entirely entirely on you both not just only on you but also on that person as well now important thing to be said about the ace of wands here as a gifts and blessings it is that you are going to be open for varieties and that itself it kind of like um battles and overwhelms the negative impact of the chariot where you're going to have a hard time to stick with uh, uh with yourself if you will so it's like instead of um suppressing you know your criteria and your not expectations but say um it's again criteria so i can't find the other word so instead of suppressing your uh criteria you're going to expand on them but in a positive way in a such a way that the, the the person that stands in front of you does not necessarily have to fit with all of them but it will be able to fit in a big portion of them as such big portion that it is enough for you to judge into their favor but once again guys uh you just have to step into the world and show yourself that you are ready to basically give love now it is very important here to be acknowledged as well that whomever shows sparks towards you and you show spark toward them that spark may not be equal all right so you may just show an interest to see how they are to behave and what kind of people they are they may show much greater spark here all right so it's it's all entirely up to the situation that you are gonna find yourself in now next one it is uh in regards to how other people are going to see you and what kind of an impression you are you're going to leave into the people around 
that is going to be the Knights of Wands. And Knights of Wands always leaves an impression as a quite of an enterprising, youthful in spirit person. And again, open for a lot of new um, a, a lot of new activities, if you will. Someone who is willing to try and once the, the, that person finds their thing, or in other words, you find your suitor, you find your person of interest, you find what you want in general into your relationship, it is willing to do what it takes in order to get there. Okay, so it's kind of like people were going to see you as well determined. But once you have something to hang on into, not just blindly determined as the Knight of Swords, for example, would have been. The Knight of Wands is purely driven by their interest. And if people around you cannot offer you anything interesting, then they cannot expect you to be around them. And that will be fully within their minds. All right. So that being said, you can expect a lot of uh, those that are around to compete for your interest just to see, you know, how much attention you are going to turn into them. And that is very good if you are single once again. Now, if you are in a relationship, then that card would have uh, speak to me that your partner will try to build up your interest. It's kind of like a, a momentum, but then it's important that they don't overdo it or kind of like overkill it because the Knights of Wands, it is very quick to temper and as well, it is prone to burn out very, very quickly and to lose interest very, very quickly. So instead of placing you thousand things that you can do together, all comes to, for example, three things that you're going to find interesting and just try it out. The three of them find what works for you and just go by with it. All right. And so the last one here, it is the guidance that Taro is offering to you in terms of love and relationship. And it's uh, with the three of cups, it all comes to uh, similar visions. All right. This is like uh, your vision is just as the same as the vision of the other. OK, so you uh, you want a, a specific type of a relationship per se. Um, how can I say it? Uh, are friends with benefits. All right. And that card points that if that is your type, then you should stick to it and you can definitely find a person with the same type that they're looking for. So that card points that you need to stick with those or with that person who has a similar vision with yours for a future development of a particular relationship. That card as well here as a sign points that you don't have to look very far as well if you are single because it kind of like your um, potential suitor or a, a, a comparable person resides if not in your social circle very close around okay and also uh, the card itself is also a, a sign that you have to step among the people around because the three of cups thrives where there is a cooperation so you involve yourself with mutual uh with mutual enterprises going up with friends with companies parties and etc etc so you can kind of see who does have an emotional connection with you because the three of cups always manifests itself through a an emotional connection and that emotional emotional connection excuse me uh sparks when someone starts to share okay so people who start who, who shares with you a, a very intimate stuff stuff that are not for literally to be said out loud then you know that they have the spark towards you so that being said leo that was your love and relationship tarot reading guys for february 10 to february 16 2020 hopefully you enjoyed it and you liked it and once again, if you are interested in a personal reading with me, you can check out the description down below and there you're going to find a link to my website and as well link to your other video of the week, which is a business in Korea. And hopefully we're going to see each other around. Until then, bye.